Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can wire up an IR receiver to an Arduino. So before we go into this, I thought I'd just go over what we're actually working with and what IR is. Just a very basic overview. So IR is a wireless communication um, method and it uses invisible light. So when we transmit data, it's actually um, pulses of light that's being transmitted, invisible light, obviously we can't see it, um, but the receiver can detect that, that light. So the LED is the transmitter, so if I just show you on here, you can see the LED in there, that can transmit infrared light, and it sends out pulses basically depending on what data we're transmitting and here's the receiver again it's clearer there's the receiver this is a very cheap Chinese thing that I've bought anyway so there's the receiver so it transmits at 38 kilohertz. That's the frequency it uses to transmit data. And it's modulated by time. So if we say here it transmits 38 kilohertz, 38,000 times per second, and it may transmit a high signal for, let's say, 50 microseconds. And 50 microseconds, that amount that it's transmitted high for, let's say that represents OK or, or something. That represents maybe a button on here. So if I press that down, um, this transmitter could be transmitting high for 50 microseconds. But maybe if it transmitted high for 40 microseconds, let's try and... Actually, that's say 25 microseconds. Let's pretend that's half of that. Then 25 microseconds. Let's say that that's the up button. And that's basically how it works. So, yeah, it's modulated by time. So the amount of time which a signal is high for. Okay, so I just thought I'd go over that. Um, it doesn't really matter to us because the Arduino Studio deals with all this for us, but it's just interesting anyway. Okay, so I think it's time to wire this up. So to start with, I think I'll connect these. So I'll put, let's say, purple on ground. And I'll put green on 5 volts. Okay. Purple on ground, green on 5 volts. And then I'll plug that in. This way. And then I'll put the Arduino in. And this blue one, I'll put that on A0. And now it's time to wire this up. There we go. I'll just connect this to my laptop now. Maybe there'll be um maybe this will start blinking or something like that. If I press something, it'll probably blink. Yeah. Okay, right. Time to go to my laptop. 
Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser and go to this website here and then you should be able to see clone or download here. So go to download zip and it should start downloading the zip file. So make sure you know where it is and then when it's downloaded go to Arduino and then go to sketch and then include library and then click on add zip library then go and find wherever you saved the zip file to in my case it's there and then click open um, for me it'll come up with an error, yeah there you go um, a library named Arduino already exists, that's because I've done this before but if you've not done it before that will then work so after that's done then go to file and then examples then go to the bottom go to IR remote and then go to IR receive demo okay let's just move this one out of the way okay so when you're in here um, well I'll need to change that to A0 so I'll change the pin to A0 because that's where it is on my Arduino and then um, well everything looks good really so let's plug it in so I've just plugged my setup in and I'll go to upload it now alright okay if you get this error message about uh, error compiling for board blah 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 it's because in the new version of Arduino there's some conflict between two libraries so what you have to do is um, copy this location here so just highlight that copy it press Windows and R then paste the um, the library there then press enter then we need to go back one actually so delete that and then when you find robot IR remote just delete the library okay and then try and upload again and it should work Okay, it says it's done uploading, so I'll get the serial monitor up now and control shift and M or you can go over here, edit or sketch it somewhere up there and now I'll press a button on the remote and we'll see if this works and it does right, so that's pressing down, right, up, ok, left um, Okay, I'll show you this in a second with my camera and you'll be able to see it on the screen. Okay, so back to the camera again. So you can see the setup there and you can see the output on COM3 on my laptop there on the right. So I've got the remote and if I press if I press up you can see that it's the little LEDs flashing there, blinking red. And you can see on the monitor when I'm pressing it's coming up with an output. You see this F F F F F that means repeated. So if I press different ones like that you can see the codes are coming up for various different buttons. But if I press one and hold it, it'll keep saying F F F, which means it's the same button repeated. So there's the code and it's repeated. There's the code and it's repeated. So there we go. That was quite easy. So that's how to receive IR on the Arduino using a little kit that I bought from eBay with a very simple receiver and very simple remote transmitter so there we go again thank you for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to click subscribe thanks for watching bye